let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I give you all the glory. I give you all the adoration. I magnify your name. Thank you, Lord, my Father, for this hour, for gathering us together. Thank you, O Lord Jesus. We are here for you. We are here, O good, my Father, to teach us. Teach us, O good, my Father. We have no power on our own. Holy Spirit, come and live your way. I surrender all unto you. I have no power on my own. Take over, Holy Spirit. Come and guide and lead me. Give me the power of understanding. Teach your people. Use me as your vessel. In the mighty name of Jesus, Baba, I, re I decrease so that you may increase. I surrender all unto you. Come and have your way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, Holy Spirit, take over. I have not born my own. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, Baba, we have prayed. Amen. 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 I welcome you all in the name of Jesus. It is my pleasure to be in our midst to share with you the word of God. Um, we are in 21 first where we are doing our repentance. It is good what we are doing and uh, we thank God for the strength and uh, we thank God for, for all the messages, all the the, the warnings, all the repentance messages that we have been receiving, we hope we are going to, we, it is going to help us in this journey. So today I'm going to add another message which says overcoming sin in our Christian life. How can we overcome sin in our Christian life? First of all, what is sin? What is sin? Sin is rebellious against God. When we say uh, rebellious, rebellious, when you say rebellion, if uh, the definition of rebellion is disobedient, to disobey, to provoke somebody or to provoke God, to refuse to come under the authority of God, that is rebellion. And God hates rebellion. Rebellion, it grieves the Holy Spirit. Uh, like, uh, uh, if we look at Moses, he rebelled against God and he was rejected to enter, to enter into the promised land. David, re he rebelled uh, against God and he was not allowed to build the house of God. Same applies to Jonah. He was swallowed by the big fish because he did not obey the, 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 the instruction from, the, from God. So God hates Rebellious, rebellious spirit is, is rebellion. God hates it. So um, it is a sin. Sin is transgression against God. Let us, um, uh, before we go to uh, 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 transgression, let us read Deuteronomy 9, verse 7 to understand what is rebellion. If there is somebody who is faster than me, can read for me. <laughs> is anyone there? Deuteronomy 9, verse 1, ma. Deuteronomy 9, verse 7. I read in Jesus' name. Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 7. Remember and forget not how thou provokest the Lord thy God. God to rot in the wilderness from the day that thou did depart out of the land of Egypt until ye came unto this place, ye have been rebellious against the Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you, my sister. As I was explaining, this is God hates rebellion rebellious they were always the, the children of israel they were always rebelled. let us move on god let's read from first john chapter 3 verse 4 first john 3 verse 4 first john 3 verse 4 yes in jesus name whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law for sin is the transgression of the law amen amen 
I, I, I think I have explained everything. The, the chapter is, it's, it is explaining itself what is transgression. It is a sin before God. Sin is defilement. When you defile, when you defile something, you make it dirty. You will make it to lose its purity. Like if you if you are defiled, it's you you will make something dirty like it, to defile your your body, to defile your heart with all sorts of sins like it, malice, bitterness. It will defile your body. It is a sin because it will defile your body. It will defile your heart. It is a sin. Sin. It can make you to be in slavery. It will make you to be in slavery. You will be controlled by sin. Sin can, you can put yourself in bondage because of living in sin. You are not free when you are living in sin. So it's not good, it's not proper. It's not proper for a Christian to live, a, to live in sin because you will be in bondage. You will be, you'll be putting yourself into slavery. So some people, they will be comfortable living in sin, but for as a Christian, you are saying you are a born again Christian, you are supposed to be the light to the world, you are supposed to be a good example to lead to, add, to, lead to be the, the, the road for, for others to see the light of God in you. So to live in sin as a Praise the Lord. I, I think the line is breaking, right? Mommy Dorothy, we can't hear you. Network. Why? Hallelujah. Why we are waiting for her? Sister Sonia, can you give us a song? Why? Maybe she signs out and signs in again. Okay. This world is not our own. We are just a passing through. You see, all okay. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am back. <laughs> because I'm, I'm new in preaching, so the the the, 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 the internet wants to embarrass me. Ah, uh, it is where well, we cover it with the blood of Jesus. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm saying sins can be committed in different types of uh, the different types. You can, uh, sin can be committed through eyes, through our tongues, through our ears, through our hearts, through our thoughts, through our physical bodies. Sin of the tongue include backbiting, gossiping, lying, slandering, murmuring, that are all the sins of the tongue. What is backbiting? Backbiting is something that you can say, you cannot say in front of somebody. Backbiting is like a, you are like somebody who is stabbing at the back of your sister or your brother in behind. When you when you when we are when we are together, you are like a, you like it yeah, or you, you, you show like you, you love her so much, but behind your sister or your brother, you will speak evil about her. Yeah, you, 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 will, you will try to destroy her life. Backbiting is, is, is very evil because you will be speaking evil against somebody and that sin can make somebody to be hurt. It is a very, a very, very, very evil sin that we are not supposed to, 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 to be practicing as the children of God, because it's, it's, it's so evil. It's not, it's not supposed to be in, in the life of the Christians to, beg, to, 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 to stab your sister or your brother on a, on a behind, but pretending to be in love, to say, Sister Dorota, I love you, I, I, I miss you, I pray for you, I will fast for you, I will do this. But behind, you will be speaking evil things about me. Whether they are true or not, you are not supposed to speak evil things against your brethren. The things that you cannot speak in front of somebody, you cannot 
You are not supposed to, to say it. Don't say it. Avoid to do it. It's a sin. Amen. 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 Let us read um, Proverbs. Proverbs 20, verse 19. We want to understand what is, what is it when we are saying gossiping. Can somebody read for me? Proverbs 20, verse 19. Proverbs 20, verse 19. Yes, my sister. He that goeth about as a tell-bearer, revealeth secrets. Therefore, meddle not with him that flattereth that flattered with his lips. Amen. Amen. Let us read also James 1, 26. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. James 1 verse what? James 1 verse 26. Okay. If any man among you seems to be re religious and riddle not his tongue, but deceived his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Amen. Amen. You see, you see, gossip is, is, is something that people they are, uh, they are still comfortable in this, uh, in, 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 in this scene. Some people, they cannot even spend a day without gossiping, without talking about other people. It, it will be impossible. She will be like uh, having a headache because she did not gossip, of which it is not good. Gossip. It will make conflicts. It will cause conflict. Gossip will separate friends. Gossip, avoid, avoid uh, uh, long conversations because when you call somebody, you spend like two hours, you are just talking. You are not talking about Bible. You are not talking about anything that glorifies God. You will end up sinning against God, talking about evil, talking about something, something, uh, something about some, another person. So avoid, avoid to speak too much. You will end up gossiping. Gossip, it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 um, it is uh, something that can destroy the, 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 the relationship and it can destroy homes of people. It can destroy even the ministry. So as Christians, as the children of God, as people who are saying we are in holiness, we are not supposed to live in, uh, in gossiping. Gossiping does not glorify God. It is a very bad thing. You will wake up in the morning, you will call one thing. Bible that you don't have time to do your devotions, you don't have time to pray, but what you can do is to start your day with the gossiping. You, uh, you uh, uh, call this sister, did you hear this? Ah, what is happening to the life of this sister? I'm not seeing it. I hope she's, okay. she's uh, like this. I, 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 I hate that she's having problem with the husband. Uh, why are you saying it? Whether it is true, why are you saying it? Some things is it's, it's just just ignore it. Just 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 leave it as it is. You don't have to be telling people everything that you hear or everything that you know about somebody. It is gossiping. It is evil. We are not supposed to to speak evil. Going from house to house, speaking bad things about other people, even good things that you are that you are going to you want to share with somebody, you will end up sinning against God because you end up sinning, talking the things that does not concern you. Gossiping is not good. We, we are, as Christians, let us try to avoid it. Because remember, on judgment day, any careless words that you speak, you, it will stand before you. So if me, I'm not, I, 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 I don't know. To miss heaven because of gossiping, something that you can avoid. You can avoid. Just zip up your mouth. You have time in the things of God. You have time reading the Bible, doing some other things that glorifies God than, than to speak gossiping. May God help us.
Amen. Another, another uh, type, uh, 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 different type of gossiping uh, 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 of uh, sin that we commit with our with our 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 tongue. It's a uh, lying, lying. It is something that God hates. It is not only that is some. It is not only uh, uh, something that God hates. But it is also something that is abomination for God, to God. Let us read um, Exodus 23, verse 1. Exodus 23, verse 1. Read in Jesus' name. Exodus 23. Thou shalt not raise a false report, but not thy hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Yes. Thank you. God bless you, my sister. A, a faithful witness does not lie as a child of God. Why are you still in lying? Are you a child of Satan? Because the father of all lies is Satan. So who is your father? You are saying you are a Christian. Your father is Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ does not lie. There is no lie in him. Only Satan is the father of the lies. So where are you? Where are you? Where are you standing? Are you of God or are you of Satan? Because lying is from Satan. Do not lie. Why? Why are you still, are you still comfortable in lying? The, 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 the Bible says, no, no liar will inherit the kingdom of God. You will not, you will not enter, you will not enter heaven because of, uh, uh, because of, uh, uh, because of lying. A lying, a lying tongue will not glorify God, will not, will not, you will not enter into the kingdom of God. Some, the devil is very clever. He, he, will, uh, he will just, he will just uh, make us to be comfortable in our sins to say, this is a white lie. This is a, a small lie and a big lie. We will, we will just uh, try to make it to say they are big lies and small lies. A lie is a lie before God. There is no white lie or black lie. Lie is a lie. A white lie, some, some people, they will say, um, okay, let's say you are you are at home and somebody comes, you will knock at your door, you will just ask your, 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 your child to say, just to say, mama is not, is, not, is not around. It's a lie. And you are teaching your child to lie against, to lie against God, to commit sin against God. It's a lie. You will say, this is not a lie. Lie is a lie. Satan will make us to be comfortable in those kind of lies. But when we stand before our God, our maker, you will say you are a liar. You will not enter into my kingdom because of your, of your, of, of your, your, of your, 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 your sins of lying. You will say uh, somebody will call you or you are doing something. You will just say, ah, oh, okay, my sister. Okay, let me, I'm, I, I'm doing something right now. I will call you just after I, uh, I'm finishing doing what I'm doing. I will just call you. You will not call. It's a lie. It's a sin. If you don't call back, it's a sin. You are working. You are not, you, 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 maybe you, 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 you have a problem or you have a misunderstanding with your husband or something happened, you will just call to your workplace to say, I'm not feeling well. Today I'm not coming. I'm not feeling well. It's a lie before God. It's a lie. Lie is a lie. Why are we still comfortable in lies? All these preachings that we are hearing every day, it is rebooking us to, see, to, 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 to run away, to turn away from our sins. Let us repent from this uh, uh, kind of lies, kind of sins sins that will make you to end up going to hellfire after spending all this time coming to zoom praying fasting doing this but a little sin like this will make you to will make you it will make you to miss heaven so let us just 
repent. Repent and turn away from our sins. Lying. Some people, they will lie to their husband about salary. You will take half of your salary and, and hide it in another account and show him this is the, 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 the money that I, 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 I earn every month. But it's a lie. You are lying. You will send your people with that money. If you want to send your people with that money, sit down, talk to your husband. Don't lie. Don't make lie make you to, to miss heaven. You will just end up sinning by, by trying to help your, your brothers and sisters. It is good to help your brother and sister, but you are lying to your husband, which is a sin. Don't commit sin because you want to help. Talk to your husband. You understand lying to your children. Sometimes we mothers, our children can ask us questions that we cannot say in detail. We will lie to say uh, it's not, it's, it's like this. It's a lie. Speak the truth. Tell them the truth in a way that they will understand. Or, in, or, or, or to say, you now it, you are not of the age. When you come to this age, I will explain everything to you than to lie. Because Satan is, is just holding that thing. You will be holding that sin. You will stand before our judgment day with that kind of lie. God help us. Amen. May God bless us. May God help us in Jesus' mighty name. Um, it is a very serious matter before God to lie like Ananias and Sapphira. Because when you are lying, you are not only lying to that person, but you are lying also to the Holy Spirit. You are lying to God. Ananias and Sapphira, they were thinking that, they, 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 they thought that they were lying against the apostles, but they were lying before the Holy Spirit. They died because of their lying tongues. You will die with your, because of lying. So let us repent and turn away from lying. Amen. Praise the Lord. The other sin of the tongue is murmuring. Murmuring, murmuring. Let us read John 7, verse 12 uh, to 13. John, 12, John 7, verse 12 to 13. John 7, verse 12 to 13. Yes, good bless you, message. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. And there was much murmuring among the people concerning him. For some said, he is a good man. Others said, nay, but he deceived the people. How be it no man spake openly of him for fear of the Jews. Amen. Amen. We see. Murmuring. Whatever you are doing, don't mama. Don't, don't complain. Don't complain. Whatever you are doing, whether you are doing the work of God, the moment you will just complain, you are just you are just you are just wasting your time. Don't 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 don't, don't mama. When when you are helping somebody, the moment you will just complain, you are no longer help. That help uh, you will not receive your reward because. It's just like you have just wasted your time. It's, 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 it's before God, it will not be counted. Murmuring, the children of Israel, because of their murmuring, all of them, most of them, they could not enter into their promised land. They could not receive their blessings because of murmuring. Murmuring will hinder you to receive the blessings of God, to enter where God wants you to, to, to reach, where God wants you to reach. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to talk about the sins of the sins of the ears. We are going to speak about the sins of the ears. God bless. God bless you, my sister. Can you read Proverbs 12, Proverbs 29, verse 12? Proverbs 29, verse 12. 29, verse 12. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. If 
a ruler hearken to lies. All his servants are wicked. Amen. Amen. As a leader, as a leader, you are not supposed to pay attention to the lies. Because if you listen to lies, the whole ministry will scatter. You are not supposed to listen to lies. You are not supposed to listen to lies. Avoid to listen to, to lies. Avoid to hear gossiping. Avoid anything that comes through ear. When somebody calls to gossip about somebody, to talk about, some, about uh, 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 another person, just, uh, uh, just uh, uh, show, show, show to say, I'm not interested in what you, are, you want me to to, 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 to commit sin, just, just to show it, just by the way you, you, you will answer. You, she will know or he will know that this, uh, my sister, she doesn't want to talk anything about this. Just try to ignore, try to ignore, avoid to listen to the things that will make you sin against God. Instead, when she speaks something evil or something bad about other people, just to say, okay, my sister, let us pray for our sister. Let us, go, let us ask God to help her. Maybe she's doing without, without uh, uh, knowing. Let us pray for her. You will just cut that conversation. You will not end up sinning against God. Amen. 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 Let us, um, because of our time, I will be just rushing because of our time, because of our time. Let me just rush. Let us read James 1.22. James 1.22. James 1.22. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. James 1.22. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own words. Amen. 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 The, 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 the verse is, it is explaining everything to us that it, we are supposed to be the hearers of the word, not only the doers, the hearers of the word. Let us, the way the, 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 let us use our ears to hear the word of God and to do what the word of God says. Zachariah 7, verse 11. Zachariah, Zachariah, verse 7. Zachariah chapter 7, verse 11. Let us use our our ears to hear the word of God, to use the to use our ears to hear the word of God, not to use our ears to to, Amen. to commit sin. Yes. Amen. Zachariah seven verse eleven. Zachariah 7, verse 11. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the soldier and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Amen. Amen. You see. We will refuse to hear the good news of God, the gossip, or the, all the preaching, all the warning. We will refuse to hear. But to hear the things that does not glorify God, we will open our ears to hear. So as children of God, let us use our ears only to listen to the things of God, only to, to listen to the word of God. Amen. Um, I'm, I'm moving forward because of our time. Our, uh, the other... Um, the other uh, 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 sin that we that um, another another uh, different way we can commit sin is through our busy body, busy body, busy body. Don't be a busy body. Keep yourself busy to do the things only that you, that 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 is your own business. Working on your your own salvation. Be quiet. You have time to study your Bible. You have time to you have time with your God. Talk to your God than to be busy talking to the matters of other people, trying to solve the, the, the peoples of other people, the, 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 the matters of other people. Just avoid as a Christian. Don't be, don't involve yourself in the things that does not glorify good, in the things that does not even concern you. Speaking evil, speaking negative things about other people. Just avoid don't keep yourself busy of doing something that does not glorify God. Before you, you start to be busy in the matters of other people, just ask yourself, is this any, any of my business, what I'm trying to, to involve myself? Has God given me this assignment to, to, to be in this matter? 
am I qualified to involve myself with this? If it is not, just just leave it like that. Avoid. Just don't don't just put yourself in the things that you end up missing your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The other uh, 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 um, sin also can be committed through our thoughts. Our thoughts. Let us read Mark 7, verse 21 to 23. Our thoughts. Our thoughts. Our thoughts. Mark 7, verse 21 to 23. I read in Jesus' name, Mark 7, verse 21 to 23. Amen. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, theft, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. Amen, amen. We see all these evil things. It will come because of our mind. It will come in our in our thought before we commit it to state. It will start It will start to uh, to uh, to to manifest in our thoughts, and then it starts from our hearts. Then our thoughts. Then we commit it. So we are supposed to avoid all these kind of evil thoughts in our lives. Praise the Lord. Amen. We can also commit sin through our eyes. Let us read Matthew 5, verse 27 to 28. Matthew 5, Matthew 5, verse 27 to 28. Matthew 5, verse 27 to 28. Matthew 5, 27 to 28. Yes. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Ye have heard that it was said by them of all time. Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her had committed adultery with her already in his heart. Amen, amen, amen. We see our eyes can make us to sin because uh, uh, Jesus Christ was saying, when you look only with your eyes and lust a woman, only by looking, you have already committed that sin. You are like the person who has committed the sin, adultery sin, in act, only by seeing. So we should avoid to use our eyes to sin against God. Let us avoid, let us avoid to sin against looking. Our eyes can make us to sin against God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us use our eyes only to the things that glorify God, only not to, to, to last or not to, to last the things of our neighbors or not to last the things of the life of somebody. Let us just avoid. Praise the Lord. Amen. The mm -hmm. other party, the other uh, um, um, thing that can make us to sin against God is our hearts, our hearts, our hearts, the, our hearts, everything that you, that you do, all evil good or bad, it will start from the heart. Whatever you are doing, it will start from the heart. If you feed your, your heart with the word of God, it is very, very possible for you to live a sinless life. But if you feed your heart with the word of things, definitely you will commit sin. Because the heart is so desperately wicked. Who can understand it? The heart is like a, it is like a, a manfesh, uh, man, um, manufacturing uh, company that will produce things. So your heart is like a company that will produce things. The things that will manifest in your life, it starts from the heart. So you should feed yourself with the word of God for you to avoid sin, for you to run away from sin. Let your, your heart be filled with the things of God, with the things of, with, with the word of God, not the word the things. Because if you feed your, your, your heart with the word the things, definitely you, you end up sinning against God. Let us read Jeremiah for you to understand what I'm trying to say. Jeremiah 17. 
from verse 9 to 10. Jeremiah 17, from verse 9 to 10. I read in Jesus' name. The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. Amen. Amen. We see, whatever we do, whether it's good or bad, it comes from the heart. So we are supposed to be filled with the word of God so that we will not sin against our Father. Amen. Amen. Um, let us read Romans 3, verse 10 to 18. Romans 3, verse 10 to 18. Romans 3, verse 10 to 18. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understand it. There is none that seek it after God. They are all gone out of the way. They are together become unprofitable. There is none that do it good, no, not one. Their throat is an open sepulchre. With their tongues, they have used deceit. The poison of us is under their lips, whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways, and the way of peace have they not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Now we know that what things soever the Lord said is said to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before God. Amen. Amen. You see, all if we start from the heart, this bitterness, anger, malice comes from the heart. Corruption, anything that you want to do to your brother or to your sister or to somebody, it starts from the heart. Your heart, it will start from the heart then it will manifest. So we are should be filled with the word of God, with the things of God, not the things of the world. Of the world. Praise the Lord. The other sin that we can commit is through our physical body. Let us read Matthew, uh, let us read Romans 12, verse 1 to 2, physical body. Romans 12. Romans 12, verse 1 and 2. I read in Jesus' name. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. Amen. Yeah, the Bible is already explained everything. This is the body. It's not our body. It's, it is the temple of the Lord. So we are not supposed to defile our bodies with the things that with the things of this uh with the, with the things of, uh, of 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 this world. The lust of flesh, the lust of flesh, it will give birth to all sins like sexual sin. Sexual sin will put us into bondage. Let us explain. Uh, 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 let us explain what is it when we are saying sexual sin? Sexual sin. Why sexual sin? The Bible says we must flee away from it. We must flee away from it. Why must we flee away from it? Let us see what the Bible says in First Corinthians, verse six, from fifteen to uh, to sixteen. 1 Corinthians 15 to 16. 1 Corinthians 6, verse 15 to 16. Yes. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an harlot? God forbid. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two, said he, shall be one flesh, 
but he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he that committed fornication sinneth against his own body. Amen. Amen. You see, when we commit sin with our own body, we are we are we are we are sinning against God. It's like we are we are doing this sin with with God. Our bodies, our bodies are the members of Christ. They are not the, they, they are, our bodies are not the members of the harlot. If we commit a sexual sin with a harlot, we will become one flesh like the, 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 the word is saying. We will become one flesh with the harlot because it's, it's sexual sin. It will make us to be like one flesh. Sexual sin can make us to be rejected by God. Like David, like uh, David. We all know the story of David. David committed sin with the wife of uh, wife of Uriah, Bathsheba. David was uh, was uh, uh, looking uh, when, his, uh, when he was uh, on the top of his house. He saw the wife of Uriah bathing. He, 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 he was the spirit of lust came over him, and he asked somebody to come uh, to to call that woman. And he committed this sin, the sexual sin with the, the wife of somebody. And this wife conceived. Now David wanted to kill the husband because of the sin. He wanted to cover up the sin. But this man, you, we, we all know the story of uh, uh, David. He was uh, trying to put the, wife, the, the husband in front so that he, uh, he, he, before that he, 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 he called him from the war, from the battlefield the way he was he wanted him to go and um, and uh, 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 sleep with the, with the, with his wife but he said i am not going to commit this because it is abomination before god that we are we are fighting and i will come and eat and drink and enjoy with my my wife he refused so he had no option but to kill the husband so he had to ask the 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 the, 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 the commander who was uh, uh, the commander of the, that uh, battle to say, put him in front so that he will just die. And this thing does not please God. Sin can make us to be rejected like David. What he did does not please God. It will make us not to hear from God. You can hear the voice. You cannot hear the voice of God like David. He will be silent from you, like David. We can see from um, Psalm 18, from verse 1 to 6, that God was silent in the life of David, and he was desperate to hear from God. The consequences of sin made, made, made God to be silent, and David was so desperate. to He wanted to hear from God, but God was just silent because of the sin that he has committed. We can read uh, Psalm 18, from verse 1 to 6. We can understand how God was silent and he was desperate. How can you live when you are not hearing from God as a child of God? It will be very impossible. So let us read first, uh, very first, Psalm 13 from verse 1 to 6. Psalm 13, verse 1 to 6. I read in yes. Jesus' name. Amen. How long would thou forget me, O Lord, forever? How long would thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall my enemies be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemies say, I have prevailed against him, and those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord, because he had dealt bountifully with me. Amen. 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 We can see from this face that he, he was desperately to hear from God because of the sin that he has committed. But God rejected him. God rejected him until he repented. So until he repented. So we are supposed to repent if we commit this kind of sin. We, when we, God will reject us, but if we repent and turn away from that sin, God will, 
God, God will, uh, God will forgive us all our sins. Amen. Praise the Lord. Sexual sin can bring down the mighty man of mighty man of God. That can bring down the sexual sin. Sexual sin. We can. Uh, we we know so many powerful men of God. How did they end up? It was because of sexual sin. It will make them to fall down, and Satan will be very happy when he sees something like that. He is not. He he, he will not sleep until we see all the men of God are uh, being. Um, being destroyed by this sexual sin. So it is very dangerous. Like we read in the, um, uh, like in the story of Samson and Del Delilah. We all know the, some, the, the story of Samson and Delilah. Samson, he was, uh, he was, uh, he, he was born with the, the power to destroy and he was, uh, he was uh, the, the Philistines were very afraid of him. He was destroying them. But because of sexual sin, he ended up, he ended up having a, a sexual sin with Delilah. What happened? The power that was taken from him, he could not do anything. He was killed because of he 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 was uh, he, he was um he was plugged out. Uh, the, the the Philistines plugged out his eyes because he had no power again. Let us read for us to understand what I'm trying to say. We know we all know this the story of Samson and Delilah. Samson and Delilah. Samson he was a powerful man. He was very powerful. He was the one who destroyed the Philistines. But because of sin, he committed sexual sin with the Delilah, and he, he he exposed where his come his powers comes where where the, his powers comes from. So because of sin, he could not he could not have those powers again. Let us read from um. Judges 16, Judges 16, Judges 16, it explains those who are following uh, on Facebook or when you, are, when you are writing the notes, you can read on your own. Judge 16, the whole chapter of 16, it talks about the story of uh, Samson and Delilah. But now we are going to read only from verse 15 to 19. 15 to 19. Judges 16, verse 15 to 19, I read in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And she said unto him, How canst thou say, I love thee, when thy heart is not with me? Thou hast mocked me these three times, and hast not told me wherein thy great strength lieth. And it came to pass, when she pressed him daily with her words, and urged him, so that his soul was vexed unto death that he told her all his heart and said unto her, there had, had not come a razor upon my head, for I have been a Nazareth unto God from my mother's womb. If I be shaven, then my strength will go from me, and I shall become weak and be like any other man. And when Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart, she sent and called for the lords of the Philistines, saying, Come up this once, for he had shown me all his heart. Then the lords of the Philistines came up unto her and brought money in their hand. And she made him sleep upon her knees. And she called for a man, and she caused him to shave off the seven locks of his head. And she began to afflict him, and his strength went from him. Mm. Amen. Amen. You see, it was because of sexual sin. So the Lord left Samson after after this uh, act after this sin. If you are still, if you are living in sexual sin and still prophesying, I I wonder. With I I I wonder. You are living in sin. You are living in this sexual sin, and you are still prophesying. There is another spirit that is operating in you, the spirit from the pit of hell, because God cannot operate, cannot still operate when you are living in sin. It cannot be. God cannot, the spirit of God cannot be in you. You are still speaking in tongues, yet you are in lies, you are living in lies, but you are still speaking in tongues. Which tongue are you speaking with? From which spirit? Which tongue are you speaking with? You are not submissive to your husband, but you are still prophesying. You are still speaking in tongues. By which spirit are you prophesying with? 
there is another spirit that will be operating because when you are, you are living in sin, especially this sexual sin, another spirit will enter and you will think that you are still being with God, yet the spirit of God has just left you. Like what, like what happened to, uh, to Samson, to Samson. When, when, uh, uh, from, from, uh, uh, we are not, uh, uh, as you have read, uh, Judges 16 from verse 20. Samson thought he can, he can be a familiar, he can be, he can be familiar with God. After committing sin, he was still thinking that I will still have the powers to, to fight the Philistines like he, he used to do before. It's not like that. God is not, God does not operate in that way. You, you cannot be like God. You cannot be familiar with God. This is exactly that is happening to some of the people, some of the Christians. They will think when they are still living in sin, after committing sin, they still think, they still want the power of God, the spirit of God to still operate in them. It is, it is impossible. There is, be, it, is, it, is a, it is another spirit that will be operating them. They will be thinking that it is the spirit of God, but it is not the spirit of God because the, the, the spirit of God will not, will not dwell in a body where there is sin, like what happened to Samson. But Samson, what, uh, uh, what I, 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 I admire him is, yes, he committed sin, but he, he, he realized that I have committed sin. He asked God for another, uh, another chance and God heard him and uh, forgave him, and he was given the chance because he repented. Same to you. If you are still living in sin, if you, are, if you have committed this sin, if you repent, God is faithful. He can also forgive you and rescue you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Sexual sin can open demonic possessions. It can open doors, demonic uh, doors in your life. Sexual sin can, you can, if you commit sexual sin, you will become one with the demons. 1 Corinthians 6, verse uh, 15 to 20. We have already, uh, 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 we have already uh, uh, heard uh, about this Bible verse that uh, sexual sin will cause your name to be deleted from the book of life. We have already read this uh, Corinthians 6, verse uh, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, from verse 15 to 20, we have already read this verse. We are not going to repeat it. Sexual sin will cause you, you will cause your name to be deleted in the book of life. Revelations 21, verse 27. Your evil desire will give birth to the sin, uh, uh, to, to sin in your life. Your evil desire. God does not tempt anyone. In James, James 1, from verse 13 to 15, because of our time, we are not going to read it. God does not tempt anybody. It is your own desire, your evil desire, will make you to, you will make you to sin against God. You are the one who will open that door, not, not God. God will not tempt you. It is your responsibility to, it is you, you are the responsible for your sin that you commit, and you must repent from that sin. Those who are still in fornication, Repent before it is too late. Those who are still in adultery, repent because be, 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 repent because it will just lead you to hellfire. Repent. Those who are still in homosexuality, repent of your sins. Sins is so evil. It's, this sexual sin is so evil because it doesn't matter that you are married or not, you are single or not. Even in marriage, they are still they, they are. That is that is spirit of, of sexual sin. That is demon. It's a demon. It's a demon. A demon of lust. It's a spirit. It will it will it will still operate whether you are married or not. No wonder why we'll see uh, faithfulness in uh, in marriages. A husband will start to teach to cheat uh, 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 behind the, the the wife. It is a spirit. It will not respect whether you are married or not. So. It is our responsibility to run away from sin, from this sexual sin. No, man, no pastor, no minister of God will rescue from this. It is your own, it is, it is you yourself. If you say, I don't want to commit this sin, you can do it. It is your own decision. Make a decision and come out of it. 
it is about it is not about casting casting it and killing it no you must confess that is sin of uh, that is sin to god you must confess you must repent and turn away from sexual sin casting out and uh, 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 killing those demons it will not it will not help but if you make up your decision you make up your mind to say i i don't want to live in this sin again you can do it god will help you and if you if if you are um if you are willing you can overcome there are there are so many um forms of sexual sin like sexual uh, sexual lust it comes with uh through pornography masturbation homosexuality walking those are uh, uh, watching out or uh, uh, watching those are uh, hollywood movies nigerian movies Ni Ghanaian movies indian movies reading romantic books magazine those are uh, celebrity magazine that they will show nakedness the women who are naked it will attract this sexual lust by seeing those uh, uh, those movies and uh, reading those magazines reading those books you will end up sinning against god you end up lasting avoid filthy jokes avoid dirty jokes and godly parties don't don't go whether you are invited whether you you respect that person don't just just avoid ungodly parties don't go to, to those parties because it will make you end up sinning against god immoral dressing is a sexual sin also immoral dressing you will be uh on this zoom going to church you will be dressing godly but when you are outside church when you are in your workplace at your home you are you will be putting on something that is sexy that you call yourself sexy but before god it's nakedness it's nakedness we have to repent from this sin it's a sin before god god is everywhere you cannot hide him from everywhere you cannot say okay i am going to church so i am going to cover myself i uh, when i'm coming to zoom i will cover myself but in your private life you are just dressing like a worldly person god is everywhere he sees everywhere whether you are whether you are in your home or you are you are in your workplace god sees everywhere hebrews 4 let us read this to understand what i'm trying to say hebrews 4 verse 13 to 15 Hebrews 4, verse 13 to 15. Hebrews 4, verse 13. Now you said 13. Hebrews 4, from verse 13 to 15. Okay, I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. But all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We see God is everywhere. We cannot hide from him. When you are saying you are in holiness, be holy. Whether in your home, whether you are outside, whether you are at your workplace, dress properly, dress holy. Praise the Lord. Those who are still putting on trousers, those tight fitting dresses, some people they will put, yes, it's a dress, but very tight fitting. That it will show the figure of your uh, the, 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 the figure. It will just show everything. It's, that is not holiness. It's a sin, that's sexual sin. Because you are committing sin. Men will be looking at you and commit sin. Jesus Christ was saying, by just looking, you will commit sin exactly like the person who has, who has, committed, who has committed this adultery uh, 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 sin. But by just seeing. So how many people, how many men 
have you slept with causing them to sin against God because of your dressing, because of that nakedness, because it's, it's nakedness. You are saying you are covering yourself, but it's naked because when you are putting on something that will shape your body, that will make men to fall, it's nakedness. And you are sending men to hellfire because of your dressing. That blood of those, those men is in your hands. Women, we are supposed to dress proper, properly, to dress properly, holy dressing, not to, to dress like a harlot. What is the difference between the, the women in church and the, the women that are, still in, uh, uh, that are still in the world? There is no difference. Now we cannot, we cannot, we cannot see the difference. Those who are in the church, those who are in the street, they are just the same. It's, it's, it's not normal. It's not normal. There is something, something is very wrong, especially the pastor's wives. They are just deceiving people. They are just making their members to sin against God because they will be looking at them the way they will be dressing. If you talk to them to say, my sister, your kind of dressing that you are wearing, it, it, it does not glorify God. They will, they, will, they, will, they will say, my pastor's wife, she dresses just like, like, like what I'm dressing. If there is no sin about it because uh, if, if she's a pastor's wife dressing like this, why not me? So we have to be very careful. The way we, dre we are dressing, even the children, the way we are dressing our children, our, our little babies, our little babies, the, 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 the girls, we are putting them something sexy that you will say it's sexy. It's not sexy. Before God, it's a sin. It's nakedness. Dress our children properly. Let us dress properly. Let us not uh, dress like harlots. A, pro, a, 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 a dressing of a harlot, it will make people to sin against God because they will be lasting. They will commit sin by just sin. Let us avoid, as Christians, women, 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 let us change the way we dress. I'm not talking only about women. Even the men, they are committing sin also. You will see men, the way they will put on the t-shirts, the t-shirt that will shape their bodies to show their muscles. You are, you are committing a sin because you are, you are just exposing your body to everybody. Some women will be just desiring you, you just admiring you like lasting because of the way you will be dressing. It's a sin before God. Some men, they will put on trousers like a, a small baby who is uh, uh, with a pamper, you know, the pampers, wet pampers, they will be, the, the, the waistline will be like on their knees. It's not, that is not godly, but you are going to church and your pastor is not saying anything about it. It is a sin before God. As a child of God, you have to dress properly. Don't, don't, don't associate yourself, associate yourself with the things of the world. Praise the Lord. All those outfits, come out from it. Just repent, repent, and stay away from those. That's the, 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 it belongs to Satan. If you see where they manifest those uh, kind of dresses, it's, it's from the pit of hell. They manifest those uh, in, 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 in the seas, in the, the marine kingdom. Just stay away from those things. Praise the Lord. We are just going to, to, to look at the dangers of living in sin as general. Living in sin as general dangers of living in sin in general it makes god to reject you one it separates you from god sin may you may feel like pleasure it, it, there is pleasure in sin but there is nothing there is no pleasure in sin it will lead you to death because the wages of sin is death romans 6 verse 23 we are not going to read it because of our time let's just uh, write it down you read on your own when you, you have time romans 6 verse 23 you will miss rapture in heaven because of sin. You will not sin. You will not. You will not. You will not enter because of sin. Remember, in Hebrews twelve verse twenty four, everybody we know Hebrews twelve verse 14, uh, 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 fourteen. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Revelations uh, twenty one verse twenty seven. Sin can rob your eternity, your destiny. All all unrepentant sinners will be cast into the outer darkness. The outer darkness is the lake of fire. So let us read Revelation 22, 15. 
sin can cause you to spend your eternity in hell fire for what? Only because of dressing, only because of lust, only because of gossiping. Let us avoid those kind of things. End up in hell fire for what? After laboring all this, our 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 effort, we are we come here, we fast, we do this, end up in hell fire. God forbid, it's not our portion in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Revelation twenty two verse fifteen. Revelation 22, verse 15, I read in Jesus' name. Amen. For without are dogs and sorcerers, and warmongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Amen. Amen. You see, you will be cast into your fire because of, of the only holiness to live a holy life dangers of sin. Sin will make you to end up in hell fire. And hell fire is not a joke. Hell fire is not a place for a Christian. We are not supposed for, for us Christians to be like, a, 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 to, to be in hell fire uh, uh, together with those hallows, together with the murderers, together with those who are, uh, are enjoying, uh, who are enjoying living in sin as a Christian. Why should we want to be in hell fire? In uh, uh, like like the non-believers, God forbid. What must we do? What must we do? Is there any way? Uh, 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 is there a way out? Yes, there is a way out. John eight verse thirty two. John eight verse John eight from verse uh, verse thirty one to thirty two. John eight. John chapter eight verse thirty one to thirty two. John 8, verse 31 to 32. Amen. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Amen. Only the truth shall set us free. Only the truth. The truth is separate yourself from evil. Separate yourself from sin. Because if you are still if you are still living in sin, you end up in hell fire. There is no way out. You are going to escape hell, hell fire. Amen. You can overcome sin and all sexual sin, all kinds of sexual sin, all kinds of sin. You can overcome. It's only when you obey the word of God. This is a call to come to repentance, true repentance. You can stop sin in your life if you are willing. Your pastor cannot, cannot help you. It is yourself that can stop sin. By repent, by confessing to God and repent and turn away from your sin. Many people, they run to the men of God for asking for prayers, but yet meanwhile they are living in sin. You must make a personal decision to turn away from sin. Don't blame anybody that you have sinned. Don't blame anybody that is the one that caused me, that makes me to sin against God, like Adam and Eve did when God, uh, 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 when they committed sin. Don't blame anybody. Adam was saying it is the wife, the wife was saying it is the snake. It is your own responsibility to run away from sin. Don't blame anybody. We know the story. We can be like the, uh, we can be like Joseph. Joseph, Joseph, he was, he was, he was, uh, he was uh, uh, um, uh, tempted by the, 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 the wife of Potiphar, but he did not commit sin. We, are, we learned a, a lot from the life of Joseph. He was very young. He was very young, but he, he feared God. He did not commit that sin. No, no matter how Potiphar's wife was just uh, 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 making him to sin against God, he said, I will not make it. Because he was, his heart was full of the word of God. He was filled with the word of God. He refused to sin against God. He did not commit sin because he feared God. Uh, Genesis 39, verse 6 to 10. Genesis 39, verse 6 to 10. He did not commit sin because he feared God. So if Joseph ran away from sin and overcome sin, you and me, we can also run from sin and overcome sin. It is possible, very possible. It is possible. Praise that the Lord. Not. Yes. Okay, Genesis 39, verse 6 to 10. 
and he left all that he had in Joseph's hand, and he knew not what he had, save the bread which he did eat. And Joseph was a goodly person and well favored. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph, and she said, Lie with me. But he refused and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master wanted not what is with me in the house, and he had committed all that he had to my hand. There is no greater in this house than I. Neither had he kept back anything from me but thee, because thou art his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? And it came to pass, as she spoke to Joseph day by day, that he hearkened not unto her to lie by her or be with her. Amen, amen. We can see, we can overcome sin. It is only when we make a decision to repent and run away from it. We can, we can, we can. It is, a, it is our responsibility to, to, to run away from sin like Joseph. We learned, the, 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 we learned from Joseph that he ran away from sin. You, are, you also can overcome sin. That sexual sin, that envy, that lust, that bitterness, that hatred, that unforgiveness, that unrighteousness, that malice, that stealing, that deceit, that pride, that unbrokenness, that gossiping. You can, you can, you can run away from it only when you make a decision and repent and, and turn away from it. God himself will help you. He will help you out. If you make a decision, help will come. Help will definitely come. Amen. You have to live a sinless life because you were given the power, the power to be, to be righteous before God. Ephesians 4, verse 17 to 24. Ephesians 4, verse 17 to 24. Because of our time, let's, let's just, you can just jot it. You can read it from on, on your own. Ephesians 4, verse 17 to 24. It shows us the true Christian lifestyle of uh, a Christian should live. Get rid of your old man. Your old man should not live inside you. Your old man and it did must die. You have a new self. You have a new self which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. You can live a holy life. Everybody can live a, a holy life because God said, be a holy for I am holy. So everybody can live a holy life. It's a lie that you cannot live a holy life. Most people, they deceive themselves to say, we cannot be holy because uh, we have all sinned and we have all uh, gone short of the glory. Uh, the own, uh, uh, shown. We have all short, uh, we have all fallen the short uh, uh, from the short, uh, from, we have all shown, we have all fallen short from the glory of God. That is half truth. We can all live in holiness because the Bible says, be here holy for I am holy. Hebrews 12 verse 14. The Bible tells us that you can live a holy life. The decision is yours. Turn away and turn away, repent and turn away from your sins. Jesus was in a human body when he came here on earth. Jesus came as a, in, in, he came like us to show us that we can live a holy life and overcome sin. Jesus, Jesus Christ, our maker, he separated himself from the world. He hated the things of the world. Love the things of the spirit. Live by the spirit. Jesus came, Jesus Christ overcame, overcome all their sins because he received the Holy Spirit. First Peter 2, 21. We have to read this, please. First Peter 2, verse 21. We have to read this because of our time. Uh, First Peter 2, verse 21. This one, we have to read it. First so that we can understand. We can be like our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. First Peter 2. I read in Jesus' name. For even here unto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Amen. 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 We can, we can, we can all be like we can. We can also be like our Lord Jesus Christ. It is possible for you to live a holy life. It is possible for you and me to live a holy life and close any door of sin in our lives, like our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Do not, do not harden your hearts. We are not supposed to harden our hearts. Allow God and the Holy Spirit to live in us, to guide and lead us. We can overcome sin. We can overcome all these uh, 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 temptations. Turn away from the things of the world because we are not of this world. We are not from this, this world. The non-believers are the, of this world, but we as Christians, we are not of this world. Turn away from those moral dressings. Turn away from those pornography. Turn away from the lying. Turn away from sexual sin. Turn away from watching all those movies. Turn away from them. Repent. James 4, verse 4 to 8. 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 Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Do you think that the scripture said in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lost it to envy, but he giveth more grace? Wherefore he said, God resisted the proud, but give a grace unto the humble. Submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your heart, ye double-minded. Amen. 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 You see, how uh, the, 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 the scripture is telling us, draw near to God, resist the devil, and he will flee away from us. We, it is impossible. It is possible to live a, a sinless life to be holy. Amen. Do you want to be the enemy of God? Absolutely not. We don't want to be the enemies of God. Why are we here if we want to be the enemies of God? No, we don't want to be the enemies of God. Why then are we still holding to do all those evil things, those, the, 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 the things of devil? Let us humble ourselves before the Lord, and you will lift us up. No matter. No matter, no, matter, no, no matter you are you are a pastor, you are a minister, you are a, an apostle, a brother, a sister, humble yourself, admit that you have sinned, repent immediately. When you realize that you have sinned, just repent like David. When you realize that he has sinned, you will repent immediately and God will, God will, uh, uh, will forgive us all our sins. First Peter 5 verse 6, First Peter 5 verse 6. First Peter five verse six. First Peter chapter five verse six. Mm -hmm. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due time. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Let us humble before our before our God. He will lift us up. He will help us if we are humble. Submit ourselves to God. When we submit, when we humble before him to say, God, I am a sinner. I don't want to live again in this sin. I want to be holy. He will help us. You will lift up. He will lift us up. Amen. Praise the Lord. Submit ourselves. Do not waste your time killing demons and uh, demon, uh, killing demons. You cannot kill demons. We cannot kill demons. The Lord is telling us here to resist the devil and you will flee away from us. Not to kill those demons. We cannot kill them. Because we cannot kill them. We cannot kill them. But only to resist the devil. He will flee away from us. Amen. How can we resist the devil? How can we resist the devil? Renounce our sins. Turn away from all wicked. Be obedient to the word. Be obedient to God. Draw near to God. And he will draw near to you. Resist the devil. The temptations. Temptations. All the temptations like our Lord Jesus Christ. When he was tempted in, in Matthew 4. This, uh, this 1 to 14, we are not going to read it. He was, uh, Satan was just uh, uh, tempting. Uh, 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 he, he, he was, uh, um, when he was um, coming from the mountain, he would say, uh, uh, turn these stones into bread if you are hungry, if you are do this, if you are this, if you are good, if you are this. But he overcame, he overpowered all the, those temptations with the word. He overcame all those temptations with the word. So let us be our Lord Jesus Christ. Resist the devil. Resist all his temptations. You must hate sin. Run away from it. 
if you want to make heaven, if you want to make rapture, try with your own, with all your strength, with all your effort to run away from sin, to hate sin, to hate sin when you want to make heaven. How many of you here wants to make heaven? If you want to make heaven, turn away from your sin. But if you don't want to make heaven, just live anyhow the way you want. You, you, you will miss it. You, there, there, you will not go anywhere because uh, no sinners will enter into the kingdom of God. Turn away from our sin. You are not the one who is struggling in this, uh, 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 in this kind of sin. You are not, on, you are not only the one. We are not only, uh, you are not only struggling in with this sin. There are others out there also struggling, but they are trusting God to help them. If God can help them, he can also help you. You can come out from sin. He will lift us up. Surrender to him. Have faith in him. He will deliver us from the hands of Satan. You cannot deliver. You cannot be delivered by killing demons, but God is the one who will deliver you. Repent. If only you repent, Satan is working 24 hours trying to destroy our lives, trying to rob our eternity, trying to make us to go to hellfire. He will not tire until he see us uh, 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 fall. But uh, we, we are supposed to have faith in God, that God will help us. God cannot defeat the power. Satan will not defeat the, the power of God. God will help us. First Peter 5. Verse 8 to 9. Please, can we read this? First Peter 5, verse 8 to 9. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8 to 9. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Amen. 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 The grace of God is sufficient in our lives. He will strengthen us. He will perfect your life. It is possible only when you repent and receive him as our personal savior. Try to avoid anything that will make you sin against God. Avoid those filthy words, dirty jokes at your workplace, wherever you are in your neighborhood. Let people see God in you, in your lifestyle, in your character. Let there be a difference between those who are still in the world and those and, and you. Let there be a, a, a difference. Let people see God in you. Preach God through your character, through the way you are living, through your talking. They will not joke any. They will not share any filthy joke, any filthy joke with you because they know that you are a child of God. They will not share any filthy joke with you. They will know that this person, she's a no-nonsense person for, for evil. Let us be like our Lord Jesus Christ. Avoid to associate with the darkness. In your home, avoid the things that will end up making you know, sin against God, like watching television. There are some other programs that you, does not glorify God. You will end up seeing pornography while you are watching those, uh, 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 those films. Avoid friends that, uh, friends that are still living, uh, that are still in the world. Avoid them. I'm not saying separate yourself from your friends, but you try to avoid them. Their, their activities, so you, you are not supposed to be in the activities where they will go to the clubs, to the, to, uh, to the parties, the parties that does not glorify God. Just avoid, separate yourself from them. Separate from them. The people you invite in your home, just be very careful that they will not, they will not manipulate your brains. They will not make you to sin against God. Amen. The battle you are not the one who's fighting all this battle, but if you are willing, if you are willing, you can fight this battle. Always be in the midst of those that are in faith. Discuss with those who are in faith. Make groups to pray, to pray like to pray with those who are in faith. Pray without ceasing to overcome this sin. When we want to make heaven. Associate yourself with those who are in light, not in the darkness. Separate yourself from the things 
from from from, from the, 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 the 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 groups or the 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 the, the people that will make you sin against God. Separate yourself. Form groups, women groups, uh, men's groups that will just encourage one another in faith. In faith, Satan, Satan will not give up until he will see us destroying our soul. He will not give up, but God also will not give up upon us. He is always with us. He will always has to, He is always with us. He, is, he will give us strength. All, only when we humble ourselves to say, God, I don't want to live in sin. Help me, guide me, lead me. You will lift up, you will lift us up as he has promised us. Amen. Sometimes God will allow all these problems, all these things to come into your life to test to to to, to, to for you to, to to depend on him, to make you to know that you cannot do it without God, but to depend on him. He will make you. He, he wants us to depend on him every day of our lives, not to depend on men or to depend on our own, but to depend on him. So let us surrender all unto him, learn to surrender and depend on him. God will never get tired of us. Amen. He will, he, he will, he will make us to be stronger every day. Like uh, in some, uh, in Second Timothy, Verse 2 to 22, we are not going to read it because of our time. Flee away from the desire of your youth. Gather yourself. Fast, pray. Some people, they don't fast. They just only wait for the fast of the, 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 the ministry, the fast program. Find time, your own time to fast, to read the Bible, to be rooted, to have time to pray. Not only on Zoom, not only in the church, but on your own personal time. Have time to pray. If you are rooted in the word, if you are a prayerful person, if you fast, Satan will not be near you. You will overcome sin. But if you are just living anyhow, you don't pray, you don't fast, you don't do this, oh, oh, obvious, doors will be open. Satan will just come in and torture you and he will deal with you. Amen. Confess your sins with one another. Correct one another in love. Fight sin every day. Hide yourself in the word of God. Study the word of God like what I have said. Abide in it. Practice it. Put it into practice. It is the manual of the life. If we live in, uh, in the word, we practice it. Satan will not come near us. We will not, we will not commit sin. We, it is impossible for us to live a blameless life. Let us hate sin. Jesus Christ is coming. He is coming to take only those that are righteous, only that 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 are holy, he is not going to take anyone with a, 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 a filthy garment. Those who are in sin will not see our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us repent. Time is still there. Jesus Christ loves us. He loves us so much. No wonder why he's giving us time to repent, to turn away from our sins and come back to him, to surrender our life unto him, to depend on him. Let us be humble before him and ask him to deal with our character, to take away any filthiness in us, to take away anything that will make us not to see him. He is willing. He, is, he, he, he will never get tired to help us. He gave us that power and he is there to help us. He will lift up. He will lift up us. He promised us. He is coming. Jesus Christ is coming. Let us repent from all our sins. It is, it is possible to live a holy life. It is possible to overcome sin. May God help us all. Sorry for taking uh, much of your time. God bless you all. May God bless you all for listening. May God give us the grace that we will, we will start to put everything that we have heard in practice, not to be only the hearers, but also the doers of the word and run away from our sins. God will give us the grace. May God bless us all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Over to Amen. you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. I will bless God. Thank you for that powerful message.
The Lord is wonderful. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray. We are going to pray according to the word of God that we have heard. Sin, sin can make us to be separated from God. Sin can make us to spend our eternity in hell. I believe that is not our portion. We are going to pray and ask God for mercy. There are so many things that, that uh, the woman of God has mentioned. The sin of backbiting, most especially in the house of God. Murmuring. So many of us, we murmur so much. Especially when it comes to the things of God, when they say, do this, we murmur. So we are going to ask God for mercy. We are going to ask God to forgive us. We are going to pray individually. You know, you look, examine yourself and ask God, is it, is it murmuring? Is it adultery? Is it fornication, lasciviousness, blasphemy, pride? All those things. So let's open our mouth and begin to ask God for mercy and for forgiveness. Let's unmute our mics and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, our Lord and our God, Father, Lord, we ask for your mercy. Lord, have mercy on my soul. Have mercy on my soul, Father. Have mercy on me, King of Glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, forgive me, O oh Lord. Forgive me, my Lord and my oh, God. In every area of sin against you. Oh, Lord, forgive me, O Lord. But I know that I have sinned against you. I know that I have sinned against you. Father, please forgive me, my sins, O Lord. Have mercy upon me, Lord. In every area of sin against you, Lord. Father, do not pass me, Lord. Your prayer is for some mercy, Lord. Forgive me, Father, Lord. Forgive me, Father, Lord. Have a father, forgive me, Lord. Have mercy, 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 Lord, <laughs> Jesus, 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 <laughs> Mighty name, amen. amen. We are going to pray again the sin of lasciviousness. This text has been the church of the going to cry to God to deliver us, to deliver us from the spirit of lasciviousness. Let us ask God, that spirit of lasciviousness in the house of God among our life, every spirit of lasciviousness, let it be arrested. Let it be arrested. Immorality. Let God will deliver us from that spirit. God, my God, King of glory, will call upon your name. God, demon of lost pleasures, God, demon of lasciviousness, sin of God, any how behaving, any outstanding Surely, morality, oh God, oh Lord, in your house, oh God, Father, King of Glory, Lord, have mercy upon us, oh God, oh Lord, and deliver your church, oh God, from every sin, oh God, every willful sin, oh God, this hour, God, let you be promised, oh God. We pray this hour that Father, please have mercy, oh God, oh Lord, please deliver us from such, oh God, deliver us from that which displeases you, God, in the mind of God, you are the God of 
Jesus. We are arrested in the name of Jesus. We are arrested in the name of Jesus. We are arrested in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against you. You demon. You demon. We are coming in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against you now. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray against the spirit of lying. That is a, that spirit. Anytime we lie, on the phone we are lying. We are taking it is just a let us pray that God will deliver us from that spirit of life. Let's pray that God should deliver us from the spirit of life. Prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, to we don't go to the spirit of life. 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 We are not to murmur. We are going to pray every spirit of murmuring among us. Let it be arrested. Let that spirit be arrested. We shall not murmur. In the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of God be murmuring in my life. Let it be arrested. The spirit of murmuring among us. Let it be arrested. Father, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We are going to come against, we are going to pray against the spirit of envy. The spirit of envy. We envy a lot from our heart. Let's pray that God should deliver us. Every spirit of envy among us. May the Lord deliver us in the name of Jesus. Prayer in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit of envy, Father, us, King of glory, Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray against evil thoughts. Evil thoughts. We are going to pray that God should sanctify our thoughts. We come against every evil thought. We are going to pray that God will bring our thoughts under the subjection of the Holy Spirit. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I the subjection of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, Amen. Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We are still going to pray and ask God, Father, deliver us from the spirit, from the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. Let's ask God to deliver us from these three things: the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lost of the 
we are going to pray and tell God, Lord, wear us the garment of humility. The Lord resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. Let's ask God to wear us the garment of humility. The Lord should make us humble. Prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So many of us, we are still carried by the desires of this world. Friendship of the world is enemy with God. We are going to pray. Every desire, every worldly desire that is still in me. Take it away. Help me to hate the things of this world. Lord, every desire of the world that is still in me, every worldliness in my life, Lord, take it away. We are in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone is the in Jesus' name we pray, amen. We are going to pray and ask God, Father, anything that I am still holding on to that will cause me to miss heaven, oh, Father, by your mercy, take it away. Help me to let go. Anything I am still holding on to that will cause me to miss heaven, Lord, give me the grace to let go. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, my God, my God, my God.